I didn't mark coming home from the road trip, taking, you know, one out of one, beating Texas and losing to Houston. Well, first of all, can you talk to me about that Texas game? Because, you know, you guys you know, kind of got down early. There was a big deficit. You guys battled back. That second half was you know, a phenomenal performance to come back and win. What, what did you kind of take away? What, did, what more did you learn about your team with the way you were able to be resilient at Texas? Um, I feel like, well, in the beginning of the game, we can't just we can't always start down. Uh, I feel like it was a good fight back. Um, our teammates kept the composure, and we did what we had to do. Uh, I mean, it was a good feeling for our team. But I mean, what I really learned is we can't start off down. But our team's capable to do anything. We just put our mind to it and play hard. What's the overall thing you're taking away from your guys' road trip in Texas? Um, mostly just we just gotta start from the we gotta play how we played at the end in the beginning. And we got to play that for a full 40, so I feel like that's something we just got to carry on with us on the road and at home. You and Diallo have had a great rotation. What's your relationship like with him, and how do you guys play off each other so well? Um, me and him, we, I mean, we, we're good uh, friends. Like, I mean, off the court, we always hang out with each other, so we have a good relationship. So just going into, this to, into the game, we talk to each other and see what each other could fix in the game. So um, I feel like that really helps us. And, like, it really doesn't matter. Like when we both come in, we, we both know that we gotta do our job and do what the coaches expect us to do. Where do two seven footers hang off off the court? Um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, me and him, we we like to eat, so I mean, we go out to go out to go out to eat and just you know just kick it, just talk about just this life and, and enjoy what we got here. There was a you're fully aware after the Texas game, it kind of went you know social media went viral um, mm -hmm. you know, with their coach kind of you know barking at you guys in the handshake mm -hmm. line. What was kind of your take? Of that situation, I remember you were kind of. I think in one of the videos, you looked kind of, kind of confused, like you didn't know why he was screaming. But what did, what did you kind of take away from that? And did you think you were classless with the way you celebrated after the win? Um, I think it was a good win. I mean, it was obviously a tense game, first time playing in Texas, and this is our first, uh, you know, first year being in the Big Twelve. But uh, I mean, I think it was a good win. I wasn't too sure what was going on um, after I seen the videos and stuff like that. But um, I don't think our team was trying to be any like rude to the Texas players. I think it was more towards the crowd, not really towards their team. And the coach probably thought it was towards his players and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, we just kept it moving. It was a good win. Uh, we know you've been facing biggest teams here um, at the Big 12. And I would like to know, what do you say to yourself when you are about to play and face a big team like Kansas or Texas or Houston? I mean, I just try to approach it like an everyday job, like just how it's practice. I think about it like it's just another day in the game, another day of practice, not saying, you know, but uh, it's just something I love to do. So when I go out there, I really don't think about the team I'm playing. I just think about my team and how do we get this win. Houston's obviously a really good defensive team. It was really difficult for you guys on the offensive end on Saturday. Just what kind of what did you kind of take away from that game and that, that performance that you got to be better, I guess, going forward? Um, one thing I'll tell you, uh, I mean, Houston did t teach us a lot from that game. We were a pretty good team. They, you know, they were ranked fifth. So there's a lot we learned from the game. But one thing I, I feel like we got to come out aggressive like them. Um, they are the ranked number one defense. I feel like that's something we could do, and we're close to it. So we just got to come out with the, the grit and the, hard, the hardness that they had. Like, we just got to be like that for the whole game and, and be like on defense, and we just can't fall back. We just got to be the one pushing the pace. Back home tomorrow against West Virginia, what do you uh, know about the uh, Mountaineers? Um, I played them, um, I think my sophomore year at Florida. Uh, what's his name? Bob Huggins, I think that's his name. Um, I mean, I don't know too much. I just know they're a pretty good team. Uh, they're, they're like they're getting back on track. They got players that's coming back. But I feel like if we come out and with the aggression that we need, uh, it's just another day of basketball. Like when their top big men, Jesse Edwards, he hasn't played maybe since middle of December. There's talk that he could return tomorrow night to face you guys. Do you know much about that matchup and you know, how much better they're going to be if he's back? I mean, I just know he's another seven footer, so I just got to come in. Me and uh, Ibrahima just got to box out and just be aggressive on the boards and, and on both ends of the floor, offense and defense. Um, after the win with Kansas, when you saw all the students coming to the court, uh, I know all you guys were super happy. I would like to know what do you feel? How was for you seeing all the students supporting you guys? Because that day, most of the students were over there, so I would like to know. You have to feel about it. I mean, it was just a proud moment. I was just taking it all in. I know that day was kind of a part of you stiff history. I think that was the highest ranked team that we beat. So just really just enjoying the moment. And I mean, after I went home, just looking at the pictures, I just showed it to my family to show them, I mean, what I did that day. You're just kind of getting started in some respects in this Big 12 conference schedule, but you've played in, in other, you know, great conferences early in your careers. 
Is the is it similar? Is the grind different uh, from the night to night, game to game? Is it more intense? Is there any can, can you compare and contrast maybe how Big Twelve is versus Big Ten or, or SEC? Uh, I feel like the Big Twelve it, it has a little mixture of Big Ten and SEC with the pace wise. I say SEC, and then the physicality wise with the Big Ten. So I mean, I feel like it's a mixture of both. And um, with the Big Ten, I feel like the teams are more like they play more together. And I mean, it's, it is the best conference in the country, so that tells you most of it. After the you know the the road trip and a big win with Texas, now that you guys are coming back home, what are you hoping to see from uh, the crowd tomorrow night? Um, I just hoping our fans will come out and just uh, just fill the stands up and just cheer us on. And uh, I just feel like I mean the season has up and down, but I just hope our fans just you know cheer us on throughout the whole way. All set. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.